Game Booster is a set of scripts to help you create your game. It has a lot of daily common logic to accelerate your development. Game Booster focuses on reusable components to reduce the amount of repetitive code created. Each component does simple things and can be connected with other components, including your own scripts, to achieve more complex behaviors. Let's see how it works. After you imported Game Booster, opening the folder, Game Booster, Examples, Scenes, you can see example scenes to show you some features. In the scene, all components, you can see all components available. Each component has an info area with a basic description of what the component does. You can click to expand it, and see a more detailed list of properties and methods you can access. You can also click on the help button to open the documentation of this component. Let's see some components in action. This is a new scene with a sprite on it. If we add a rigid body 2D component, without gravity, it will stay in place. Generally, you must create a script to move this rigid body. With Game Booster, you can add a component to deal with rigid body's velocity. Adding a component inside Game Booster movement, you will find velocity 2D. This component fills the rigid body's velocity, in this case, one on the y-axis, making the sprite goes upwards. Setting the local option, the velocity is relative to object rotation. See the documentation for more details. To control the rotation, we will add the angular velocity 2D component. That sets the rigid body rotation speed in the z-axis. Now, to use the player's input, let's add the input axis component. It gets some input axis, in this case, the horizontal axis, and send its value through an event. In the actions event, we add a new line, drag the on object to it, and set the velocity of angular velocity 2D in the dynamic session. This way, the horizontal axis is sent to the rotation speed of the object. Setting minus 90 to the multiplier, we can control the object rotation with the arrow keys. With a few components, we created a simple spaceship movement. The Velocity 2D controls the velocity to goes upwards in local space. The Angular Velocity 2D controls the rotation. And the Input Axis uses the player's input to control the rotation velocity of the Angular Velocity 2D component. This example shows how you can create some simple mechanics without any code, just using simple components and connecting them. The example scenes show many other mechanics you can create with Game Booster. For more information see the documentation.